We all were like, well, you know, they haven't they haven't beat anybody, they haven't played anybody. They were playing all yep. those bad teams, you know, the Marlins, the Royals, whoever it was. Um, well, now they're playing good teams. Yep. And now they're beating the good teams, Swish. So are, are we finally buying in that this team is a legit threat? Well, it sure does seem like that. I mean, we saw Marcus Stroman go over there. We were all asking ourselves, why did he get traded over there? What's he going to do? If you think about it, look how good that starting five rotation is for the Mets. You got Thor, you got DeGrom. Wheeler, when he's healthy, he's nasty. Stroman's over there bringing some swag, some energy, some life. It just kind of seems like right now the Mets, they think they're really good. And there's something to be said for that. Each and every one of those guys is pulling for each other in that locker room. And, Frank, you know how that can roll. Once everybody gets on that same page moving forward, this team could find themselves in the playoffs. They have what only one other team in baseball has a five solid rotation. And Houston Astros is the only one that really can match up with these guys. So I'm going to tell you right now, if they get to the postseason, they could just spoil the party for everybody because when you face that line, when you face that starting rotation one through five, they can shut down some big bats. Well, just on the, oh, sorry, KB, just on the back end of that, nobody thought the offense would be as good as they are right now. J.D. Davis is absolutely dominating. I mean, KB, we were story. talking about him earlier. So far the second half, he's been absolutely tremendous. It just kind of seems like the Mets are pulling the right strings. I know we were talking a lot, of bit of, uh, a lot about the decisions they were making earlier in the season, in the offseason. Can this team compete? Right now, man, they got some magic over there in Flushing right now. It's a lot of fun to they watch. They got a little something going. And if the Cubs lose their game out of that second wild card, oh, wow. that's crazy. So think about crazy. that. Wow. How far they have come in this race. Another magic win for the Mets. You Darvis has been better of late, right? He, he's resembling in the second half the guy that the Cubs thought they were getting last year. But this is a stinker here tonight, Frank. And I'm just curious what your trust level is for him as far as postseason appearances go. I mean, the trust was building with him over the last month and a half. But after tonight, the up 6-2 and let the San Francisco Giants come back looking like this, I'm not going to worry about it because I, 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 at this point, Carlos Quintana, not Carlos Quintana, my man Quintana, has been pitching so well. He's pitched like an ace over the last month. If he, he continues to pitch this way, Blue Darvish, he will not make their rotation in the playoffs. Well, let's think about the guys who they have the opportunity to choose from when it does come postseason time. I mean, obviously, I think the Cubs are going to see themselves either winning that division or they're going to see themselves be playing that wild card game. You got Cole Hamels, you got John Lester, and Quintana's been pitching yes. absolutely tremendous. Jose's on fire. So I, I think, you know, maybe Hendricks uh, as well as you, Darvish, they might be left out of the mix a little bit. I think the offense can kind of overshadow some problems. You saw tonight 10, 11 runs a night. I mean, this offense can do that. But I think at the end of the day, you got to get something from you, Darvish. You paid a lot of money for him, whether you put him in the back end of the bullpen, maybe in a Valdi situation. I mean, he's still got a lot of juice left in that arm. I like to see him doing what he's doing right now, but I think he could be very valuable as maybe a long relief come playoff time. They have gotten a lot from their new poet, though, and that's Castellanos, right? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, how about that? Is that just a matter of getting out of Detroit? I mean, they were so miserable this year, just just new life. I mean, what do you? How do you view what? Yeah, I mean, got? just <laughs> I'm like, man, he must have been reading that right before they interviewed him. But you know, I, I think for uh, Castellanos right now, remember, he's been in Detroit for the last seven years. Mm -hmm. Hasn't exactly been the most successful of runs. Now all of a sudden, he almost goes from worst to first. Now he's playing in front of packed houses every single night. He's doing a tremendous job. Frank has been on him as soon as that trade's happened. Frank, tell us a little bit about your boy Castellano. I've seen this guy dominate the American League Central for the last four or five years. He uses the whole field. He's a professional hitter. He spent a lot of time with Mickey. He is a great hitter that no one knew about. I think he was a steal of the deadline. This guy's capable of carrying this team all the way to October. And I'm telling you right now, it's going to be contagious because they have great hitters in that lineup. They're going to start following uh, Castellanos soon because he has lighted up eight home runs yep. and 19 games. Boy, he's done a tough. tremendous job. And they put him right in that two-hole right out of the gates. Yeah. Right? You've got Bryant, you've got Rizzo, you've got Baez. You put Castellanos in the top of that lineup, all of a sudden you've got guys in runners and scoring position right out of the gates.